What a night. And they couldn't predict this. They didn't know when or where or how bad it would be. All day long, the reports kept changing. Every weather app you looked at, every weather station you watched, it kept changing and kept changing. Man. And then it hit. Let's go down that road. It's about uh, 1130 in the morning the next day and we still don't have any power. Uh, they don't know when they'll be back up. We've heard reports from our kids, um, our daughter that lives here in town. There were reports that it was a tornado. <laughs> and there were reports from our other son in another town nearby that they said theirs was a tornado. And tornadoes were not even the biggest threat. It was the um, high winds and hail. Two days ago, we were in Platteville, Wisconsin and camping there. And that was, uh, they got tennis ball size hail last night. It was all over. It was a very big storm. That's where we spent a couple hours waiting for the storm to pass. So grateful to St. James Congregation that they're kind to let us stay here. Thank God that nothing worse happened. There were branches going all the way across this road, some bigger ones, and Gary and I threw them off into the ditch there. So this is a very heavily trafficked area. Uh, especially with all the trucks that were coming through and I think curious people were coming through look at this I mean this is how far away we are from where that tree came down way over there and this is the mess it made way over here and across the road I, I can't believe we weren't hit with anything worse we have one one little branch up on top Smells like a Christmas tree lot. Oh my gosh, it's hard to walk here. Yowzer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's through the, through there. I don't know if you can see the stump. There's where it broke off. If it had come down at the bottom, that would have been that much longer. It would have gone out to the road. So close. Oh my gosh, so close. This is why I always want to park as far away from these trees as possible when we're here. <laughs> storm last night all near the church So now the least we can do is, is kind of help here clean up this parking lot. They don't have a lot of 
members here. It's a very small congregation, a lot of elderly people. And um, so we need to get a rake, I think, and start cleaning this up. All in all, it's really nice that we can be sitting in here to finish up this video in our own home. We heard report of a friend of ours whose daughter was at a campground and a tree fell on their RV, which is kind of typical in a lot of campgrounds. They're shaded. And so we were very fortunate that we didn't have any trees fall on us. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, don't know what happened with the weather system. Um, everyone we heard from said that they were really just hit hard and it came up fast. And we had no idea that it was going to end up like it was from hmm. all the reports. No, we, we were warned about possibilities of all kinds of bad weather. But they just didn't know when just, or where yeah. or who was going to get hit or anything and it was supposed to come at 11 o'clock until midnight and it came at 9 30 or 9 a quarter to well, 10 yeah, something like 10. that that's when we went into the church basement and within minutes the lights went out and then a few minutes later we heard that loud boom and mm -hmm. that was the tree falling so we could peek out the window on the one side of the church and see the trees just whipping back and forth and the then you could hardly see the trees anymore because the rain was so heavy. Very hard. Yeah. So we are very thankful once again to God. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> Always. If you missed our uh, one of our more recent videos on uh, God's providence, we had a couple more stories to share with you there. And we were very blessed to have this congregation of St. James they are wonderful because we can't stay in any campgrounds near our daughter. They don't either. They don't allow overnights or they just, you know, they're purely just seasonal or there aren't any. I mean, they're so few and far between anywhere near where our kids are. So we really are so grateful to this congregation that they allow us to stay here. And now we had a lot of cleaning up to do, <laughs> which will be good because they won't have the people and the manpower to do it themselves. So that's why we're here I guess yeah one of the things we discovered in the church basement when we went was something we were just shocked to find and it was quite a treasure and I'm gonna put pictures of those things on the face on our Facebook page so make sure you check that out if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe by hitting that button down below Next to it, a bell will pop up, and if you hit all, you know, ring the bell and then hit all, you'll be notified every time new videos come up. And until next time, be safe, <laughs> and God bless. God bless.